What's going on guys, Good Gaming here, and today I'm gonna test something. I spent five months of my life getting trained on how to shoot, move, communicate, and survive. Now it's time to see if those skills translate into what really matters. Roblox Phantom Forces. So we're rocking the basic loadout, okay? We've got the M4A1. We've got your, uh, my M9. As for melee, I don't have the ASP, so I can't use that, but I do have the melee. I mean the, uh, the freaking, you know, the nightstick. That's good enough. We're dropping right into Sandland. What a fitting environment to test out our new skills. Alright, got the M4A1. We have to use it on semi, because that's all we were allowed to do anyway. Oh, there's one. Got him. And we unlocked a new site that we're not even going to be allowed to use. Oh, bad guy. Bad guy spotted. Grenades, I'm allowed to use that. Dunzo. That. Out of here. What? About to open up a can of minimal amount of force necessary on these dudes. Starting with you. I hate the semi-auto. I hate the semi-auto so much, dude. You want to know the best part, though? Is when they gave us our M4s on the uh, lower receiver, it was printed U.S. government property. M4 carbine, except the M4 carbine was stamped out with X's, and then underneath that it was printed M4A1, okay? And on the fire selector switch, when there's a, you know, it's semi, safe, and burst, well the burst was also stamped out with X's, and it said auto underneath it, which means that these guys specifically took these M4s and converted them to automatic weapons, and then told us that we couldn't use the automatic feature. Whoops. I had to catch myself there. I almost used automatic on those guys and wiped their entire squad. That would have been too, too unfair. That would have consumed too much ammunition. What was that move, guy? Got him. And it doesn't matter, because that dude can shoot through these walls with an M16. You're telling me that those 5.56 five, rounds, the same bullets are coming out of this pathetic gun here. Yeah, that bullet that doesn't even go through here, the same one fired out of his gun, shot all the way through the wall and killed me. I don't buy it. Oh, yep, I see you. I saw that guy. How many times have I hit him? Jeez. Yeah, something tells me that this gun was balanced to uh, have the fire rate make up for the low damage. It's just a feeling I get. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. Going in with the melee. Oh, that's more than I thought there were. That's more than I thought there were. No! Oh, I've respawned in prime... Prime location to exact my vengeance. There he is. Dunzo. This video is going to contain some of those cancerous gunfights I've ever experienced. Got him. Shouldn't have missed, idiot. Headshots. The headshots are where it's at with this weapon. It's totally useless otherwise. Like so. Oh, there's somebody over there. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, there's a guy- <laughs> there's a guy a lot closer than that guy. Ooh, we've got a tactical position, shooting from cover, like an actually smart person. Got him. Got him. And I saw that dude over there. Add another kill. A fine addition to my collection. Oh no. My fire selector is broken. The auto seer is stuck being depressed. I guess I'll have to use automatic during the rest of this battle. What a shame. Do 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 do. Oh. There's a dude watching that lane. Doesn't matter. 
wall bang. See, now mine shoots through the wall. Bad guy on top of the roof here. Deal with this bad guy first. And this bad guy next. Easy mode. Man, doesn't it suck when your gun gets stuck on auto? It's so terrible, man. You burn through all your ammo so quickly. What a shame. You know what? We've been focusing too much on the, the basic side of things. You know, your, your basic uh, M4 kind of rifleman kind of stuff. It's time to specialize. Specialize to a military policeman. And what does the military policeman use? The M9 pistol. Fun fact, Beretta is actually the oldest um, firearms manufacturer who's still in business. It's crazy. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's how an expert shoots. Okay, how is that guy not dead? I'm actually expert qualified on the Beretta. So, theoretically, if all transfers over to the video games world very well, I should be a total god. But it doesn't look like it. Oh. Alright, I think I'm shooting high is the problem. Yep, there he goes again. Back at it with his old shenanigans. LMG on the rooftops. I hear you. No you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Do not do that. Alright, I think I gotta slow my shots down. I, I just can't help it. Come on, climb up there. Climb up that ladder. Not you guys. Maybe my brain is just messed up ever since I found out that when you shoot from hip fire it doesn't go where your freaking crosshairs are, see? It goes like to the bottom right corner. Maybe that's just screwing with my mind. Because, like, of all the things in a shooter you should be able to trust, it should be... It should... Oh. It should be your crosshairs, you know? That's where your bullet goes. That's the most important thing... to know. And yet, Phantom Forces takes the liberty <laughs> to place your gun in a way that if you shoot it, it will not go where your crosshairs are. Ever. Alright, maybe, just maybe, we've um, exhausted the military police half of my loadout. Maybe we should go right on back to the M4. And what do you know, it's still broken. The auto seer is still depressed. I think there's a rock or something stuck inside. I guess we'll just have to, uh... Run this way. I mean, it's not my choice. It's, it's the gun's fault. All right. All right, boys. This round, it looks like we're losing. That's a lie. This game belongs to the ghosts. They need to add an E-tool as a weapon. Like, they've already got a trench mace. That didn't go well. What even is going on? What is going on, dude? This map is so crazy. It's just, it's mall, but bad. I don't know, I don't know about bad, I just don't like it very much. This is like the second time I've played on this map. Not a fan. Or what's it called? Is it called mall? Whatever this map is called, it's the one like the one that's like it, but not like that one, because this one's different. It's all sandy and weird, and the layout's not as linear. Oh, I see shots. I see tracers coming from this direction. Don't be stealing all the kills before I get there. What was that? Oh, guy up top. Guy down low. Too slow. Oh, we got a lovely streak going here. Don't stop me now. Don't stop me now! Alright, one thing is for certain. Once this video is over, I'm never picking up this weapon again, okay? I only had six kills on this weapon before, like, I started recording, and then I did one practice run with it. Got some kills, but, like, 
But the point is, I have never, like, used this before today. And I'm probably never going to use it after today. The damage is just so low, it seems like. I don't know, it shouldn't be. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that! Look at that accuracy! My crosshairs were, like, right on him the whole time, and you see my shots just going all around his head? I know you're here! Got him! And I dipped out of there at the same time. Easy. So yeah, an auto, this gun might not be that bad. It's definitely more of a close quarters weapon. And I get that's a carbine, but like, some, some carbines you can actually stretch over some long distances. Not this one. Not this one, no siree. Gonna go deal with that guy right quick. The reason I'm even doing this still is that I want to unlock the comp aim point because we actually got to use those. It's the only optic we were trained on other than our uh, backup iron sights. And that takes 130 kills to unlock, which means I actually have to, you know, be good for a bit. You know? Yeah, climb that ladder. See what happens. Not gonna survive this. Yeah, I got him though. Yo, is that a Minecraft pickaxe? That's new. Oh, watch, I'm gonna go to semi auto mode. Just this once. Just this once. Aha! Aha! Got him. I'm so close. I can feel it. I can feel my closeness. My closest, that is, to unlocking this optic. Got him. Got it! Yes! Alright, here we go. Attachments. Where is it at? Comp aim point. Slap that thing on. Let's go, baby. Let's see how we do. Oh, it's just like I remember it, except my front sight is not in the way. That's a uh, error on Stylus Studios' part, because I well remember the annoying freaking front sight post that just sticks up in the middle of your sight picture. Oh, I know where you are. I know where you are. Spider-Man pounds from the ceiling. I love jumping out windows and just murking people. Alright, now that I think about it, 55 kills in a round. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Now this video is probably long enough already, so in order to cram the rest of this into a digestible space, we're gonna enter high-speed montage mode. In a couple seconds, we're going to start hearing some Kevin McLeod, and we'll be off to the races. Anyway, that's it for this video. If anybody's watching this video, because I know it's not Blood and Iron, probably not gonna get many views. I hope you enjoyed it. Wish I could say the same. Thank you so much for getting this far. Skit Gaming is signing out. Goodbye.